Hi students, welcome to One Minute Micro Techniques with Lisa Schimmel from Crafton Hills College. I want to talk about the nitrate reduction test today, also referred to as anaerobic respiration. Here is the reaction that we're looking at. We're talking about beginning with nitrate. Some bacteria are able to convert it into nitrite. Others can take nitrite, convert it into ammonia, and still other bacteria are able to go the entire way uh, to nitrogen gas. We are going to just be testing to determine if the first step, nitrate converted to nitrite, was done. All right, here is our nitrate broth. It's essentially colorless, contains a durum tube to collect any nitrogen gas should it be produced. And what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and inoculate my nitrate broth. Just going to carefully remove a small quantity of the test organism from my slant. I'll go ahead and give that loop full of organism a swish into my nitrate broth. And then this tube is ready for incubation. All right, I have in front of me two tubes of nitrate broth that were inoculated before the taping of this video. In this tube, I've got E. coli, and in this tube, I have Acinetobacter calcoacidicus. And I'm going to agitate both tubes just a little bit uh, before I remove any broth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one mil of um, the broth of each organism into a clean tube. Then I will add the reagents to determine whether or not I have a positive or a negative reaction. So I'm going to use a sterile pipette, and I just want to remind you that um, I need one mil of organism, and this little um, mark up near uh, the bulb is uh, the one mil mark. So I'm starting with my E. coli. And I'm going to go ahead and get one mil of E. coli broth out. And I'll transfer that to one of my clean tubes. I'll do the same with a Cynetobacter. And then I'm going to add my reagents. We use for this test nitrate reagent A and reagent B. And I'm going to place three drops of each of those reagents into each of my test um, uh, organisms here, taking care not to touch the tip of the bottle to the, uh, to the tube. All right, so three drops of each. One, two, three, two, three. That was reagent A. Here comes reagent B. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now uh, the development of a red color indicates a positive reaction. And if you take a look here, this is E. coli. Got a nice uh, positive cherry red color. So E. coli is positive for the production of nitrite. And here's my Acinetobacter. Uh, this organism is negative for the production of nitrite. Now, one last note before I break, and that is some bacteria are very efficient at taking nitrate all the way to nitrogen gas. What that means is, is if you were to do the test for production of nitrite, it might come out negative. But in that case, you would see some nitrogen gas collected in the Durham tube. And by the way, I did not see any nitrogen gas in any of these tubes. Uh, typically, members of the genus Pseudomonas, like Pseudomonas aeruginosa, are very efficient at taking uh, nitrate all the way to nitrogen gas. And so in that case, you would see nitrogen gas in the Durham tube, but you might get a negative reaction for the nitrite test. So in that case, we would make a, a, a presumptive uh, decision about that, knowing that nitrite had to have been produced in order for us to have nitrogen gas in that Durham tube. 
All right, you guys, thanks for watching.